Now we have some exciting news today. On the right, we have Game Boy Color, as you're all aware of. And we also have PFBA, which is Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Arcade, from arcades back from, I'd say, like the 60s up until late 90s kind of thing. And on top of that, our new virtual console on the left-hand side here, you can see Game Boy Advanced is running. So now that Game Boy Advance is running, a lot of progress is being made, I'd say. This is really exciting news. Yes, these emulators are all running on 4.1.0 and 5.0.2. My left switch is on 4.1.0 and the right one is on 5.0.2. These emulators do run on both. And on top of that, I would like to say, you know, the emulators seem to run a little better, a little more reliable on uh, lower software or firmware on your Nintendo Switch. Now, as I said, Game Boy Color on the right, Game Boy Advance on the left. Now, I would like to show that volume does work. We'll give this a second. That's our audio, it's working. Oh, I got my PlayStation controller, sorry. So this is running really well. And saves are working. Now you'll want to save within your game on Game Boy Color. And then afterwards you'll want to push your X button triangle because I'm using a PlayStation co controller. After you save within the game... And that will actually save it into a file so it'll load when you start the emulator again. Um, yes, sorry, I keep forgetting I'm using this controller. Yes, joystick works. Um, yes, the buttons work themselves. If I find someone to talk to or a sign I can click on. Start button works. All that good stuff. Like I said, you would save. Would you like to save? Yes. And then you would push your X button. On your actual controller but it's triangle on my playstation controller and that will save an actual file of it so when you go back in you'll be able to load your game now when it comes to game boy advance it's got more of a save state going on i'd say so if you save within the game it will not it will not continue playing it will freeze uh the audio is working but it's a little Glitchy, it's not a hundred percent. It's not for either of them, but but it works, right? So, and I think the key is is after the music changes after loading the save state, it will get a little better. So I'm gonna load a save state by pushing plus and L, if I'm not mistaken, and that should load me right into the game as you've seen there. So that was plus. And the L button. And to save your stage, you push, you would push plus and the R button, and that'll save your state. So make sure you know what you're doing. Plus and R to save, plus and L for load to load your state. And now, as I said, audio does work for both. The controls are working. I'm using my pro controller here. Gary's house. I could go down to Professor Oaks. Pause button's working. Like I said, don't save within the game because it'll freeze. So if you need to save, actually take the time to do a state. I'm going to do it here real quickly. I'm going to do a save state real quickly. Sorry about the camera focus there for a second. So I'm going to make a save state by pushing plus and R. And now I'm going to move. And then when I push, push plus and L, it should load me back to where I was. Yeah, see, I'm back over there. So save states are working for Game Boy Advance. Now on top of that, I can also show you that there is another emulator, the one that's running arcade games and all that stuff. 
and that won't take me very long either. Oh, wrong controller, sorry. Um, where is it? Over, 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 right there. PFBA. And then we can start one of these games. Start anyone really. You know what? I know what I want to start. Something I haven't played in a long time. Brings back old memories. Some people may remember these kind of games. Some people won't. Some people will appreciate being able to play these. Some people won't. Some people appreciate homebrew. Some people don't for some reason. I like it for the freedom to be able to do whatever I want with the device I paid for. And pay for my device so I can be told what I can do. Is the game here I was looking for? Ah, uh, nope. That must be on the other switch. So let's just start something up. What do we want to start up? Let's just start up. Street Fighter. You know what? Let's start up. Yeah, Sonic. Sonic 3D. This is a Sega CD game, if I'm not mistaken. So that means Sega CD, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Game Gear, old arcade, all that. It's all running. And yes, audio runs really well with this simulator too. So, um, is it recognizing my PlayStation controller for this simulator? PFBA, is it recognizing? I might have to set up my controls for my controller. But it does, it does work. There, let's try that one. Plug that controller. There we go. This is what I use for connecting my controller. My PS4 controller. This dongle here. Very useful. I'm going to turn that audio down. Start. This is Sonic CD. Remember. Or Sega CD, sorry. Uh, Sonic 3D playing. So what do we got so far? We got the arcade emulator working. We got a bunch of Sega systems running. And we also have Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance running. N64 will probably come in the near future. GameCube, no doubt about that. So we got many virtual consoles. This is what we should have had from the very beginning. No question about it. Why haven't we had virtual console given to us? Why are we going to have to pay all this kind of money for something we've already paid for over a lifetime? I paid for all these games. I paid for this game so long ago. I had to buy two copies of this game over here at one point because I lost one. The cartridge. The other one I think just stopped working or the system or something. So it's like I'm not going to invest Hundreds and hundreds of dollars into the same game on Android or on iOS. I can purchase a game, log in on a different device, you grab the same game free. I already paid for it, load it up, use it. Netflix, you can use it on multiple devices. I could use it on two Android devices at once. Application, same login, everything, and play a video on both. So, Nintendo really needs to think about the way they're doing the things they're doing and the process they're using because it's just a money grab constantly so i say this virtual console was amazing and with all the progress to all the developers everyone that's been working together all the teams congratulations keep up the great work i'm gonna do my part to spread the word i'm also gonna do my part to Develop some things. I have some projects I'd like to work on. I got a lot of ideas that I'll be bringing into the scene when I get a chance. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. More videos to come. More videos to come for sure. All the best, you guys. Have lots of fun. Tutorials coming up next. So stay tuned to the channel. That's coming up today. I'll have that real soon. Leon.